My name is Amanda, and I'm going to be performing a physical assessment on my patient. Her name is Stephanie. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. So I'm just going to do a head-to-toe assessment with the focus being on your head, your neck, lymph nodes, your skin, um, but I'll try to explain everything as we go along. Okay. So looking at her face, her face is very symmetric. There's nothing abnormal that it looks like. I'm just going to ask you to smile. So right here we can see her nasal labial folds. Those are also very symmetric. Do you have any pain anywhere? No. Okay. So next we're just going to look at her trachea. Her trachea is midline. No issues with swallowing? No. Okay. So for her thyroid gland, I'm just going to have you tilt your head back a little bit for me. I'm just going to palpate this when you swallow. Good, good movement. So also while we're doing this, we're just going to look for any nodes that may be present on the sides and I don't feel anything. So there's no nodules. It's very good. When you come over here, we're going to look at her temporal mandibular joint. So for the purpose of this, we're just going to do one side, but I'm going to have you open your mouth for me. Good. I'm going to have you close it. Can you open it again and wiggle side to side? Good. There's no clicking noises. All right. So next, I'm going to have, I'm going to take a look at your lymph nodes. So there's two right here, the pre and the post auricular. I'm going to try to palpate anything so I don't feel anything. So working my way down to the tonsillar. Again, I don't feel anything. Submandibular along her jawline. And submentals directly under her chin. Cervicular on the side of her neck. So for the uh, supraclavicular, I'm going to have you turn and tilt your head. Can you try to touch your chin for me? Very good. I'm going to palpate those around her clavicular line. And the infraclavicular right below the clavicle. Again, I don't feel anything there. One last one behind her head is the occipital. I'm going to have you tilt your head for me. feel anything. I'm just going to have you extend your arm. You have a couple lymph nodes underneath here. So the central and the lateral. The pectoral is closer underneath your armpit. And the subscapular would be behind your arm. I'm just going to move this up so I can see. Look for the epitrochlear. And to finish with the lymph nodes, you do have one near your femoral artery, which is going to be your inguinal, your uh, horizontal and vertical chain. So those would be present around here. Okay. So as far as her skin, her skin is nice and clean and dry, pink and warm, no abnormalities. Hair is very clean and shiny. Just trying to look between her curls to see if there's any hair loss. And the hair looks very evenly distributed. I'm going to get down to her nails. They're very well manicured. Cuticles are fine. Cap refill is brisk, and your skin turgor is very good. Making my way down. Alright. Do you have any moles or anything? I do on my left arm. Okay, so we're just going to take a look at that. I'm just going to get something to measure, just one moment.
my mold is about two by two millimeters. It's brown, not raised, circular, the edges are symmetric, the border is regular. Do you have any itching or pain to that? No. I'm just going to use my stethoscope real quick. So we're going to look for your temporal and your carotid arteries to make sure there's no breweries. And palpate that. Good. Just hold your breath for me. So the last thing I want to do for your nails, if you can put them together, so this checks for clubbing, you want to make sure you can see a diamond, it's called the shamrock sign. So right in between we can see that, so that's very good.